can see Dundee's great maritime history from the moment you get into the city on the great bridge over the River Tay. And as you advance into the heart of the city with its marvelous architecture, both traditional and contemporary. It is a city that is trying to rejuvenate itself, to find a second wind after losing a lot of the job opportunities that came with maritime trade and maritime construction. Its university now is one of the most dynamic and um, lively parts of the city, as is um, its burgeoning arts uh, industry and uh, its new constructions uh, that want to set into uh, view uh, the innovation and the creativity of its people. So I'm so happy to be here and see Dundee again after many years and have the opportunity to talk to people here about their views on the United Kingdom staying in the United Europe, staying in the European Union, but also of Scotland staying in Britain. The two issues, of course, are intertwined and cannot really be separated, especially when one comes to Dundee, one of the two cities that voted majoritarily in favor of Scottish independence at the last um, referendum here in Scotland. So I'm enjoying now Dundee and I'm enjoying meeting the people here. And uh, next stop will be Perth and from then on to Stirling and Glasgow. Rain is going to start soon, so the walking part will become more arduous. We shall see how this shall develop. In any case, we all hope that our message of bringing to communities throughout Scotland and the rest of the United Kingdom that this country, our country, the United Kingdom, will be stronger in a united Europe, will come through and that people will come out to vote at the referendum in the same way that they did at the Scottish independence referendum. Because for all of us it must be clear that we can only have a better future together.